Hey everybody, it's Kay. Hope you're doing well. Happy spring to you. I wanted to come on and do a review of this book because I just finished it and I wanted to talk about it while it was still fresh in my mind. It is Sleep Well, My Lady by Quay Quarte. This is a mystery and as far as March Mystery Madness is concerned, it fits the prompt, the title prompt person, My Lady. So I'll tell you right off the bat that I like this book. I thought it was well written. I really enjoyed this story. So we have fashion designer Lady Araba, who is in preparation for Fashion Week. And the fashion show that is really going to catapult her into a different stratosphere in terms of her success. She's already rich. She's already famous. But this is really going to propel her career. But unfortunately, someone hates her enough to take her out the night before. So we have a varied cast of characters in this book, very colorful. We have the Sawa Detective Agency and those that work for the agency, including Emma Jean. This book is part of the Emma Jean series. We also have a lot of other characters in the book, including her boyfriend, Augustus Caesar, who is a very popular talk show host. But unfortunately, he has to share problems. Not only is he married when he and Lady Araba start seeing each other, but he's also an alcoholic and he has a lot of issues. So there are a lot of red herrings in this book. We're introduced to a lot of characters who dislike Lady Araba enough that maybe they want to see her dead. And I love the way the author writes all of the red herrings and the way he gives us just enough information to be um, suspectful of everyone. Um, <laughs> I like the pace of the book. I thought the pace was very good. There are a lot of time jumps in the book. As a matter of fact, it's written that way, where he takes us back to the past and then brings us back to the present and then we get to piece everything together to see how the murder comes about and who does it, why they do it, and all that stuff. So if a time jump is well written, I can appreciate it. Sometimes, though, it's overkill in some books, but I like the way that he did it in this one. Um, I liked that he has a glossary in the back of the book for some of the, some of the terms um, this The book is set in Ghana, and so he makes sure that we not only know what the words mean, but how to pronounce them. So I really did appreciate that. Um, his writing style is, is very good, in my opinion. Um, there is another book that he sent to me as a review copy. I got this one from the library, but he sent me his book. The Missing American as a review copy, and I'm hoping I can get to that book in either April or May. I have some library books checked out that I want to try to get to first, but I would definitely read this author again. I do recommend, especially if you like mysteries, to give this one a try. Let me know what you think about it. Um, Sleep Well, My Lady, Quay Quarte. Kudos to you, sir. I really did enjoy this book. So I hope you have a great day. And oh, I wanted to remind you in case you didn't or, or inform you in case you didn't know. I do have another channel. It is called K Reads the Word. And on that channel, I'm exploring my spiritual journey. So I'm reading scripture and praying and um, going to do a lot of different things on that channel. So make sure that you subscribe to that channel as well. Thank you in advance for your support. I hope you have a great and wonderful day. Take care. Until next time, keep reading. Bye-bye.